What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your simple and plain fire stick into an absolute beast. Basically, this fire stick will act as a Android box. So I'm going to show you how to do it. You need to purchase a couple of items or find a couple of items that's laying around the house to get started with, but it's very simple and easy. And after this, I'm sure a lot of your problems with buffering and streaming should go away. Let's get right to it. Okay, the things that's needed to turn your Amazon Fire Stick into beast mode is basically an Amazon Fire Stick. I'm going to be using a Wii Chip controller. And that device right there is called a USB hub. So we're going to be using a USB hub as well. If you can find some old USB drives laying around the house, they will work as well. And last but not least, this cable that's connecting everything together is called an OTG cable. As you can see, the OTG cable is connected to the fire stick and then it's connected to the USB hub. And from the USB hub, you can add your USB zip drives, which will allow the fire stick to have more space. And also the receiver for the air mouse Wii chip will connect to the USB hub as well. So let's get everything plugged up into the back of the TV. As you can see, the Amazon fire stick has a dongle connected to it that's for tight spaces so we're going to see what this thing does you're also going to have to download es file explorer so we're going to do that we're going to connect everything up to the smart tv and we're going to see how it works now guys the great thing about this usb hub is you can turn off and on the power to each usb port so if i wanted to Turn on the power for this first USB port. I'll just click the button on top and as you can see it's illuminated in a, a light blue or a blue light. That's for the second USB port. That's for the third USB port. And that's for the fourth USB port. And as you can see all my USB ports are ready to go. They're fired. They're up. So let's see the new storage that we've added in our ES Explorer. So if you go out and buy new USB drives, you may see this error message. So basically it would allow the Fire Stick to format your USB drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my new USB drive so the Fire Stick can format it. Okay, in order to see if your SD drives are working properly, we're gonna to have to download the ES File Explorer. Now, if you don't have the file link app, just type in get.filelink.com in your downloader browser, and that's where you can get the file link app. Once you open up file link for the first time, it's going to have a home screen, and you're going to type in the following code. I'm going to give it a few more seconds. Now we're going to enter the following code 3336396. And once you have that code all typed in, go ahead and select the next button. So we're going to select next. We're going to select continue. And welcome to the text and effects fan club app store. Now I'm going to constantly be updating this app store, but we're going to stay on focus right now because the focus is the ES file Explorer pro version. So we're going to go and select ES file Explorer pro. We're going to hit the down arrow button and that's going to start the download. So hit the down arrow and the download should start. Once the download is completed, the down arrow will turn into a play button. So go ahead and select the play button and the installation will start to install directly to your Fire Stick. So go ahead and select install and the installation process has started. Keep in mind, this is the pro version of the ES File Explorer. So it has better features than the regular version that's free. Once the installation has completed, we're going to go ahead and select open. And then it's going to bring you to the following page. This is the welcome page. We're going to select agree. Then we're going to select allow. Then we're going to select allow again. If you deny this, you can change it later in your settings. But for practical purposes, I'm going to select allow.
So when your installation of the ES Explorer is complete, go ahead and open it up. And you should see a page similar to this one. This is the ES Explorer showing my zip drives, which basically is additional space for the Fire Stick. So as you can see in the top left is your internal storage. That's the internal storage of your Fire Stick. Over to the right, 2.84, that's one of my used or one of my old SD card. It's showing up as an SD card, but actually it's a zip drive. Okay, in the top left is your internal storage. That's the storage that's included in your Fire Stick. Over to the right where it says 2.84% SD card, that's actually one of the zip drives that I connected to the USB hub. And down below it says 28% SD card, that's another zip drive that I had connected to the USB hub. And down below where it says loading, that's the newest zip drive that needed to be formatted. As you can see now, all the zip drives are now connected to my Fire Stick. And it should run more efficiently and faster. The internal storage is the storage that comes with the Fire Stick. And as you can see, those are all additional drives that I've had added to the USB hub. So if you go out and buy new USB drives, you may see this error message. So basically, it would allow the Fire Stick to format your USB drive. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And remember to visit my new file link store, Text and Effect Fan Club App Store. This file link store is brand new, so I will be constantly uploading apps, utilities, and programs for your enjoyment. If there is something that you would like to see in the file link store, just send me a note, leave a comment in the comment section on what type of applications or programs you would like to see in the store. Until the next time, I'm out. You know the rest.